That was like the thing of the history of the world. The brilliant. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Instagram and Twitter. Ah! It's so juicy. Oh, yeah. And uh, thank you for listening to Patreon and follow the official Twitter account. Today, we are doing a very long awaited movie review. We did it. We did, did it. it. We took five hours out of our day. <laughs> we did it. Um, we finally watched. Swades. Yep, that's right. That's how you pronounce that's it, kids. That's exactly how you pronounce it. Y'all are pronouncing it wrong. Yeah. You don't know how to pronounce it. It's yeah. not Swadesh. Exactly. <laughs> or whatever. Yeah, that's weird that thing you call it. It's Swadesh. No, it's Swadesh. Swadesh. It's Swades. It's like, you know uh, whose name I'm not going to say anymore? Hmm. That great film composer who did the score to Lagand? Just not even going to try anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, he did this one and he did a phenomenal job. But yes, we, uh, we watch Swades. Don't even care. Uh, but it's uh, directed by... Uh, say that. That's a really... Ashutosh Gawarakar. Did he direct Lagan as well? And Jod Akbar? Yes, he did. Wow. That's, uh, those are three huge classics. And we got we to see... And now, I'll tell you. Uh, after seeing these two, uh -huh. I want to see Jod Akbar even more. With Rithik Roshan? <laughs> yeah. Either uh, way. Hmm. Two things. Great underwear. Thanks. He has great underwear. It's very comfortable. I'm really impressed with how in shape you've you've gotten now that you've become a dad. It's like the, you the became a dad and it's just transformed the, your body. The underwear helps. Um, but yes, it's a successful Indian scientist returns to an Indian village to take his nanny to a uh, to America with him and in process discovers his roots. Yep. That's Pretty accurate. Yeah. Uh, obviously, there's a lot they left out, leave out there. <laughs> yes. Which should, they should, obviously. Yes. Uh, composed by our ramen. And if you haven't seen this, which is like four or five of you, go see it and then come back because it's going to be filled with spoilers. Obviously starring the infamous Shah Rukh Khan. Um, but yes, what, um, what were your initial thoughts? My, I'll tell you. Okay, this good. is that's th what the this is. is. This, <laughs> <laughs> this is one of those films that has two levels of it for me. Mm -hmm. The first one is my appreciation for it just as the film itself, but then some of the stuff in it that's definitively personal for me. Mm -hmm. It's like if somebody asks me if I like the film Rocky, I'm going to tell you, yeah, that movie in and of itself is a great film. It won Best Picture. He was nominated for Best Actor, but it has deep meaning for me. This kid hit me in the feels hardcore on four occasions. Mm -hmm. I I loved this movie. Did you cry four times? Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. I, I oh. cried. I cried four times, and 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 the, the final time I was crying was just nonstop tears down my face. And it's because of the the connections it has for me personally. Mm -hmm. I don't know that anyone else would necessarily have that. Well, I feel like a lot of people do because this is like. You, you know, you've seen comments, like, everyone wanted us to watch this film. Yeah, the, you know when they've said to us, and I, I began to understand it later, like, after we saw Chalk to India, they said, it's an emotion, don't think about it like a film. I literally, at one point in the film, thought, yeah, this one's an emotion. Mm. It hits me in the feels. Mm. Uh, so I have a lot of things to say about it on the technical aspects of it, but as a whole, this is, this is at the top of my list of some of my, one of my favorite Films we've seen from India. Yeah, you no, know, I, I really enjoyed it as well. It was um, it, it it scared me at the beginning uh, when it was just the two American uh, Shah Rukh Khan and uh, oh his, yeah his friend at the very beginning. Yeah, I got really scared because it was bad writing at it the was, beginning. It was really bad writing at the yeah, end. Yeah, it was awful. And I don't know if it's maybe they just it's hard to write for English American. Maybe I don't. No, I think in any language they were telling, not showing. They were. Yeah. It was just those. Well, of course, as you know, I grew up as yeah. an only child. Yes. Yeah, thanks for that. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> so it was, I got scared. I did too. And then when they got to India, it got, it got much, much better. 
Uh, it, yeah, it did. It just did this. Mm -hmm. It just did that. Yeah, and there was a, there was a lot of really great. We could talk about Shah Rukh Khan. This is my favorite performance of his that uh, we've seen. I would. We haven't seen very much. We haven't course. seen a lot, and I would say th this is my. It's a hard one because what immediately comes to mind is My Name Is Khan. Mm -hmm. I loved him in My Name Is Khan, and I think. Um, what he had to do in My Name Is Khan probably was a little bit more challenging for yeah. him. Yeah, for sure. But um, he was the thing about him that I'm really appreciating uh, now because we've seen quite a bit of what he's been able to do mm -hmm. is he is a very emotionally available actor. Mm -hmm. I, I believe him when he's in his his moments. He's very natural. It's a very different kind of natural than say Irfan, and that's a, a, a a, not a fair comparison because not everybody can be in your fun like not everybody can be in a wasabi yeah uh, but I do consider him to be uh, I think SRK is probably uh, it's weird to say this he's one of the biggest movie stars in the history of the world mm -hmm. but I think he's probably underrated mm. for his acting abilities and I, I he's he's one of those guys I'd love to see in something like and maybe they're maybe it's out there I'd love to see him in something like Header with Vishal at the helm, mm. where he's diving into deep, deep thespian meat, rich. Well, now they're just going to tell you all, yeah, at the beginning of his career, he played a bunch of negatives. Right, I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> but yeah, I, I really like him a yeah, lot. Yeah, no, I think it, it, it was really, really good that he, he did a full on, um, I feel like almost a transformation, especially obviously, you know, all the parts that he cried in. Um, like I'm sure like the turning point was obviously when he went to collect the rent collect the rent which which I'm sure wrecked you that scene is probably one of my favorite scenes I've seen <laughs> and and because the man that they cast to play the farmer he did phenomenal was he an actual farmer I don't know I, I don't know but the believability in that scene and the simplicity of the one moment with his wife Mm -hmm. who just wipes the tears from her face. That scene could have been so screwed up and I was riveted. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, so was I. It was, it was, it was ridiculously good. A great scene. And yeah. yes, that was one of the parts where I cried. Was that your favorite scene? No. Mine, in, the, in the film? Yeah. No. I, I can tell, I can tell you mine right now. I know it might be the same one. It was the one where he was talking to them about India and America. Ah. Uh, yeah, I don't it, know if that's your, your after favorite. the dhoti, which I could relate to that if you've seen the Indian clothes wearing one. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I felt really much better about myself that SRK didn't know how to put on a dhoti. I know it's his character, <laughs> but um, but yeah, the uh, yeah that was a great scene. That was my favorite scene because it was so well done, mm -hmm. uh, and it was so like I've seen that here in the comments before. Like anytime. You know, um, we say something about America, or mm -hmm. we say something positive or negative, mm -hmm. doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. It's always a comparison. Like, yep. It, we have a blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and like he was saying, he was like, yeah, the, cause the immediate thing, cause like, we, we've gotten in trouble when like in uh, one of the videos, uh, um, I think I, I said, oh, well, those, it was not the second temple one, it was the first temple one. Uh, I said they were probably made by slaves. And oh yeah, none of the comments of we've never had slavery. We've never had slaves. He's like, but you know, you've also had the caste system for right. what a long time. Long time America's had slaves. Like every there's it's Everybody's not, got it's, their it's, not a, it's not a comparison, right? Like yeah, this is a contest. <laughs> yeah, you, you can solve your problems. And they could solve their problems. Yeah. Like, yeah. And so I thought, like, it was a really well done. I thought, like, much like I said, this is my favorite Shah Rukh Khan performance. It's his most subdued performance. 100% is very subdued. Very natural. Very, everybody uh, believed was so him. natural. Uh, whoever the, the female was, Greta. Um, Who played Gita. Say your name for me. Yeah. Gayatri Joshi. She did really, really well. She did really well. I have only one bone to pick with her, and it is not with her. Because, because I thought she did a great job. You didn't make any sense. No, there were a couple of moments. This is genuinely, I don't, I don't find it a fault on her part. So let me explain. There were a couple of moments that required deep emotional vulnerability and expressiveness that I saw her doing the best that she could in that moment as an actress. But I, I'm not nitpicking with her because I don't know that she... Sounds like nitpicking. No, because it's not her fault. I don't know that she has gone to a place where she has worked on the work it takes to go through if it because there are some people who that can come to naturally and it's rare most actors 
have to do a lot of personal work, understand the difference between walls and boundaries in their own personal space, and how to access and tap into the most private moments and share them publicly. And I, I saw her doing the best with what I think she has. Mm -hmm. um, and that's why I don't fault her. I, I can't fault an actor who doesn't go to the place I wish they would go when I don't think they've actually been trained or, or have that capacity as of yet. I think she has that potential. And this is, I'm talking this is minuscule because I'll give you an example. My favorite scene in the film is the scene where he's about to leave and she meets him at the bridge. Mm -hmm. And I still could see from a technical aspect stuff I would have loved to have seen the actress do to bring me more into her emotional vulnerability that I feel like SRK is just right there. But it didn't, it's my favorite scene in the film. And I didn't fault the scene. I wasn't disconnected from the character in any way. It's a very small acting critique that I believe this, this actress probably has the capacity in later roles, I don't know. And it's minute because that scene for me, I cry, when he opened that box up and she's describing to him what is in that box. Customs won't let you take that into a minute, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and then when he's driving away and she's saying, please turn around, please turn around. I got, I got tears going and on my face. the film should have ended there. No. Yes. No. 100%. No. 100%. That's how Corbin would end the film, That's, but I'm very that, grateful for the film creators for not ending it that there. That was my biggest gripe with the film, is yeah. that I was like, you're going to ruin this, aren't you? No. You're going to ruin this not and be like, oh, all. it has to be happy in the end, doesn't it? No. It's, she goes on with her life. He goes on with his life. Nope. And that's okay. That's how life works, people. No, that's not okay. It is. No. Because that's how life works. Yeah, sometimes it works that way because people give up on what they know they really should have pursued. No. That's part of the reality. And no. it is true and it is real. No. Oh, so he wasn't, they weren't in love and shouldn't have been together. No, because they had different, different things to do. One, how's he gonna, one, how could he afford to replumb and electro, electricity that okay. entire town? I and how's he gonna do it without a NASA job now? He can't. <laughs> yeah. But... So responsibilities wise, yeah, it's irresponsible. So yes, thank you. And also, well, she would, he would not have been able to take that stuff and do customs into America. So. What stuff? The, the box? Yeah, the box. Oh, I know, but that was, that, maybe, that didn't bother me. I today. just wish it would have ended there. Because I was like, it would have been a perfect moment. No. Say, don't, please, please don't go, please don't go. And then he goes, and then everybody's sad. No. Yeah. No, it, it needed to end with him covered in Mother India and where he's supposed to be. Did you like that other guy? Uh, my, my guy from Lagan, are you kidding me? <laughs> One of my favorite Indian actors of all time. The minute I saw his face, I was thrilled to see my favorite actor there. Yes, of course, I love that man. He did much better in this. Ah, he, uh, he was just as no, wonderful. He, he did much better in this than he was in, uh, he still has this weird, Thing going on with him that I, I know I, I can't understand it. Oh, I love it. Uh, I love it. Yeah. No, I here's the, the the part of this where I would let people know I have an a, an unusual bias toward it is because it hits some things on me very very personally, which is what made me cry as well. If someone were to say to me, "Is there any Indian film that would give an analogy and like explain the impact of what has happened?" in your life since you guys started doing our stupid reactions. So I know this is a story about an Indian man going to America and then getting reconnected to his roots, but the connection he had with the people, the culture, the customs, and how that completely changed him. And when he went back to NASA, it was like, I'm never gonna be the same. Mm -hmm. uh, and the song, the songs in this, mm -hmm. and that, that song toward the end, it's saying to him, you, you're, you're supposed to be here. You've been, this place called to you. These people are your people. And he's having those flashbacks of the faces. So all I could think about at those points was the stupid babies and the messages that we get that are so deeply personal. And then of course, he, his, the, the, the love of his life is somebody he falls in love with who is a teacher, which for me, it, the very first photograph that Indrani ever sent to me was her in her class with her students because she's a, she was teaching kindergarten. All of that stuff. And then the box opening up, being reminded of the people and the land and the places. Could take that home. Yeah, that, I, from, I mean, 
that's why I got this when I explained my tattoo and the fact that it's the colors. You got a tattoo? The colors of the Indian flag splashed on me like I was playing holy. His characters be being in completely transformed by India and by the people of India and him finding the love of his life. I couldn't disassociate my own experience from that. And I thought everybody else in the, the film did really well. All the supporting roles, there wasn't really, outside of the beginning part and the fat white American. Uh, oh, I was so happy we got the uh, stereotypical bad white actor in the film. It, it just doesn't cease why? to amaze me. I don't understand it. I, I don't understand it. <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting for it. Just every. I'm waiting for every single film from they India to have the one bad white they actor. They can't all be that bad. Yes, they can, and they are. Like maybe they write it on purpose for the white people to be bad. <laughs> no, I don't know. No, because he didn't have a lot of lines to ruin, and he was just bad. Okay, be back with three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand, really, the Bollywood India. Hire us, please. We I will be your to work. token white We'll work person. for scale, guys. We're... Well, he will. I'll work for a dollar above scale. <laughs> I don't work for scale. <laughs> <laughs> but a dollar above. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I really, really enjoyed this film. I, it didn't... You didn't really feel the three-hour runtime. Not at all. Which was, which was nice. Because Not at that all. That was one of the most daunting things about this film is that, you know, it's a, almost three hours, ten minutes. Yeah. Of, and it's like, that seems really, really long, especially if it's bad. Correct. So, like, if it was, like, um, DevDoss-style acting, it would have been a big struggle for me. For you. To get, to get through that. Yeah, not me. Um, I agree. I for appreciate a, for, good For a movie as slow-paced as it was, yeah. it didn't feel long. Mm -hmm. and, and I did, we haven't talked about this, you talked about your favorite scene. Mm -hmm. I would say, apart from the personal thing I enjoyed so much and so much of the artistic thing about it that I felt was great, everybody in it, and again, my slight nitpick with the actress who was beautiful and I loved her and believed they were in love. The, the thing that I really enjoy about this film is how it unashamedly, just in multiple scenes, goes, here's what's wrong with our country right now. Mm -hmm. And here's what's wrong with the world. Mm -hmm. And at the center of this thing, it's unafraid to say, why are we discriminating against each other according to caste? Why is ignorance so high and illiteracy so high and we need to change that? Why is, you know, just open communication and talking yeah, about it was, subjects it, it that are tough. really well written. I was yeah, really for, outside of the American that, part. The, and that uh, opening scene. Yeah, outside of really that. Really well written. It was really well written, really... Um, prophetic uh, in terms of just saying stuff that some people might not like to hear. Right. Just like the old people in this that were like, uh, caste is a tradition. It's been mm -hmm. around a long time. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean you can, should continue doing it. Correct. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was, that, that, was a be that moment where yeah. they talked about was, we have tradition and culture mm -hmm. and that in and of itself is... Yeah, and it was, a, it was a conversation that I feel a lot of people still have nowadays. It's like, they, they said, it's been around, you're blaming us for that? No. Right, not, not at all. But yeah, exactly. Like, that was a great moment. He's like, I'm not blaming or putting anything on you, I'm just expressing myself. Yeah. <laughs> just just telling you my thoughts. Also, it was, it, was, it was really well written, and it was just heartbreaking when he was going to find people to be in the school, and then like the different scenarios where like he was like, my, my kids aren't destined to be educated and he was marrying off his little daughter. Yeah, that, that was like, whoa, whoa, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do that. Yeah. Um, but then like the other ones, like the, the, they're in college, they're in high school now. And like, he was like, yeah, I genuinely believe they want, but would they need to learn their household? It's like, it was a whole bunch of different scenarios as to what I'm sure still happens. I mean, yeah. maybe not a lot, but um, maybe in rural areas even more, but um, just, uh, different things of why they can't get educated, why certain people can uh, discriminate against gender, mm -hmm. whatever, still, mm -hmm. and they, those are the excuses they give. Correct. Uh, and so I thought it was really uh, well done in terms of calling the, the stuff out that needs to be called out. Yeah. Uh, just like, you know, when uh, you know, films are here in America call out, needs to be called out. Cause yeah. It's like every country has their major issues. Yeah, every country does. <laughs> and does it, just because you have a tradition doesn't mean you shouldn't fix them. Correct. Yeah. yeah. And, you can and still it, uphold your traditions, the good ones, and right. uh, try to fix society. Yeah. Which is why I think what this was trying to express. I, I totally agree. It, it really does. And, and 
the there's a, there's so many different levels to this thing that you could talk for a long time about. Mm -hmm. And what I was shocked by, I don't know if you looked this up or not, but I, I often, like when we watched Cholet, that was right when we first got this Bollywood book. Mm -hmm. So I went in and I was reading about Cholet. I went in to look for the film. It's only mentioned on SRK's page. There's nothing in there that talks about the film. Really? And I was, I was I thought shocked. I thought it was a bigger deal than that. So did I. I thought it was on the level of Lagan and Cholet yeah, and Dev Das. Huh. But apparently, I, I actually, driving over, I was talking to Indrani about it, and she said, no, this came in at a time where some of the bigger, more colorful uh, Bollywood films with the bigger musical numbers were, were in mainstream at the time. Gotcha. And a quieter cinematic piece like this typically wasn't what mm. audiences were really looking for at the time. Interesting. Um, I asked, is it like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Because like that was a flop when it first came out with, with Gene Wilder. Yeah. It became a cult classic. And she said, no, but people who love cinema and who know SRK will tell you this is one of his better films. Mm. And this is one of the better films that... And I agree. I, I, I just... I, I want to watch this again to see all the other levels again. Yeah. Just a, a beautiful movie. Yeah, really, really, really well done. The music, I... Well, it's... It's, it's him. <laughs> I don't want to say his name because I don't want to mispronounce it again. <laughs> yeah, and I, I love the simplicity. They weren't big musical numbers. Like, the, 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 the musical number with the kids and the stars? Mm -hmm. Ah, that was really beautiful. Yeah, that was a, a really nice scene because it was also, like... It was hard to watch because, you know, certain people on this side, certain people on that side. I know. It's like... What is going on? But then it was a great song about um, not doing that. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and loving know, people for being people. Yeah, and, and I know we, you know, growing up here in America, we see prejudices and we see racism and things, but we, we've we never been exposed to living in a caste system. or it's, it's very, very different. So we actually have grown up with this, like, really? How can you how can you treat each other this way based on skin color, based on religious differences, based on caste? And I, even watching this, I, I think about this all the time, guys, and if, if it doesn't register with you, whatever caste you come from, whatever religion you believe in or practice, whatever country you're from, whatever political party you're affiliated with, every human being bleeds red. Uh, it's a, it's a, I, I always go back to the fact of whatever you are, there's a beautiful song by Sting called Fragile that talks about that, that you know, it's like, who, this ignorance about treating each other differently based on those things, I just, yes, will never, I'll never understand. Yeah, treating somebody different based off their skin color is just as dumb as treating somebody differently based off of a cast, which makes it, yeah, <laughs> it's completely idiotic. It's like, makes no sense. Yeah. It's something your father was, so now you are that, is it like, what? <laughs> well, it happens here. I'd say the predominant thing that we probably encounter here is economic status. Yeah. That's, that's Prejudice based on economic status. That's a thing. That's a, that's a big thing. Um, I mean, you're not like, it's not like to the extent of how it was in India where it's like they can't touch you. No. no. It's not like that, but they'll look down on you and, and stuff like that. And it, Well, it wasn't too long ago that blacks were treated that way here. Oh, yeah. No, we're, no, only, no, no. we're only talking one generation preceding us where... Black people couldn't drink out of the same water fountains, yeah. couldn't go to the same schools, couldn't so, go to the same bathrooms. Which is what the point he was uh, making in the film. Yeah. Even though I think I would have made a bigger point, he said. Because <laughs> um, right when they said something about the caste system, he said, somebody said, but don't they discriminate off of people's skin color? Mm -hmm. And then he says, well, sometimes there's prejudices. Uh, and stuff like that. You know, I, would, I would have probably been a little harsher. But uh, yeah, um, we don't have yeah. a good track record here. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but uh, that was the beautiful moment of it. He was like, "Yeah, they have they have issues, right? So do you, right? <laughs> and that's let's, let's work together and solve those and get over those issues. Yeah, and stop looking at oh, we have tradition. Look at them right. discriminating over yeah, exactly. skin color. And that's what I loved about SRK's transition was he went back to India not because he was believing in anything that was being bad mouthed about America. Mm -hmm. It was both places are beautiful, both places have problems, mm -hmm. and <laughs> can't we all get along? Yeah. <laughs> and I loved the ending, so <clears throat> I did.
Ah, uh, that, that was my biggest gripe with it. <laughs> Why does everything have to be happy? It doesn't. But anyways, I loved it. A plus film. I would watch Great it again. Oh, it was, I, it was, I can't wait to watch it again. Yeah, it, yeah. Was, it was really, really well done. Really like phenomenal. It. Let us know what uh, SRK film we should watch next. I don't know. Let me think what I've heard. Well, I, what I'm, I'm really loving to see him fess, uh, fess, flex his thespianatic muscles in terms of something really, yeah, you know, like a there will be blood or a. <laughs> I don't know if he has Gangs of New York. Or... Well, let us know.